and I am here with my wrap up for the TBR Takedown Readathon 3.5 that just happened this past weekend. I did really well. I did really well on this one. For some reason, this readathon is just something I always do really good in, and some of the other ones I'm like, eh, here and there. But I don't know. For some reason, the TBR Takedown is just, it always works for me. So um, let's get into what I read. So I didn't stick with my TBR. <laughs> I only had two books on there and one of them I did read, the other one I didn't even touch. And I think the reason is because what I realized as I was you know, about to pick up that other one, I thought, let me look at what I'm currently reading because I had like four or five books that I'm in the middle of. And so I looked on Goodreads and I was like, yeah, two of these could easily, I can go ahead and just finish these up. And they actually, meet some of the challenges and I was like what am I doing I should have just checked Goodreads before I even made my TBR it is what it is right so the first book that I read was The Good Neighbor which was on my TBR and this is by AJ Banner this is a psychological thriller and um, it was pretty short it was only 194 pages so I read it um, started it Friday finished it Saturday and it was good. The chapters are really short, so it went really, really quickly, and it pretty much kept you guessing until uh, the last couple chapters. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I ended up giving it four stars. So this one follows a woman who uh, lives in this really nice neighborhood, and one night her neighbor's house catches on fire, and some of the ashes, or I guess some of the embers or something, travel over to her house, and her house catches fire as well. So both houses burn down. Um, she is stuck trying to figure out who set this fire. Um, lots of questions are coming up about her husband because her husband was not home during that time. And um, so pretty much almost everyone in the neighborhood is kind of being suspected and they're just trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, it was good. So I enjoyed this one. This book also fulfilled the challenge to read a standalone. So this is a standalone thriller. So that one's meant. Then I also finished a book that was on my currently reading list and I've been reading it for a while. It's an audiobook and I finished Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. This is the second book in the Outlander series. I wanted to finish this book before Outlander started on Saturday night and I'm not kidding you I finished it within hours of when the show started <laughs> so it was I was just like perfect. Um, but I listened to it mostly at the gym and then some a little bit at home too. I was like, you know what? I only have a couple hours left in this audiobook. I'm just gonna, you know, sit down and, and knock it out. And I'm really happy I did. I ended up giving this one four stars. It was really good. I'm not going to go into the synopsis because it is a second book in a series, but it, um, definitely was long. <laughs> um, it was really good. The story is really, really good. Um, Jamie and Claire are just my favorites. And, um, but it started out kind of weird. It started out, I was a little bit confused when it started. And then probably about a quarter of the way through, it went, it went back into the regular stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, here we go. So it was interesting the way that that worked. But, um, yeah, so four stars for me. Really, really enjoyed it. I will definitely continue on with this series. I'm kind of maybe going to listen to one a year. Um, maybe starting in January, I'll listen to one just kind of getting ready for the next season as long as the show is on. But the show did start back Saturday and I watched it and it was so good. Such a good show. It's on stars. It's wonderful. So I highly recommend you check that out. Even if you haven't read the books, do it. It's so good. So um, this one met the challenge to take the next step in a series. So this was the second book in the series and I went ahead and finished it up. So I ended up listening to 24% of it and that finished it out for me. After that, I finished another book that I was in the middle of. Um, I was reading it from the library and I actually had to take it back before I could finish it. So I just went ahead and downloaded it onto my Kindle and I was about 59% through it when I picked it up to finish it off for the weekend and I ended up finishing it and that is the Shopaholic to the Rescue. This also met the challenge to take the next step in a series. This is actually the most recent release. So I've completely caught up on that series now. And uh, this one I gave four stars to. I actually enjoyed it better than the last book in the series, which was Shopaholic to the Stars. Um, it was good. I won't go on the synopsis <laughs> because it is book number eight in a series. But um, yeah, it's... It's good. It's It was funny. Some of the things were just over the top, of course. Um, it's a fun series, though. I don't know how many more she's going to write. Um, it's kind of 
teetering off a little bit for me, even though I did give it four stars. I gave it four stars because it was better than the one before, which I gave three stars. But um, yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> um, if she does write more, I do want to. I do want to go ahead and do it. I'm glad that I'm caught up to it, so I don't have like five or six to read. If I had five or six to read, I don't know if I would do it to be honest with you. But yeah, it was good. I really enjoyed it. So four stars and caught up on another series. And then the last thing that I picked up, I worked on it yesterday, and it's something I got from the library recently. Um, I love The Walking Dead. I love that TV show. It's one of my favorite TV shows of all time. And I had been interested in getting into the comic books. I was a little scared to do it because I didn't want to read ahead and then, you know, spoil myself for the show. I know that the show and the comic books are not completely the same. Um, some of the characters follow different storylines. Um, but I want it, I was, I don't know, something about it right now just made me go, I'm going to go get the first bind up of them. Um, so it was probably because season six just ended and it ended on an extreme, extreme cliffhanger. Like it was insane, this cliffhanger that they left us on. And now we have to wait till October. Anyway, so, um, but I had heard some things that were happening in the comics and, you know, you never know what the show is going to do. You don't know if they are going to follow the comics or if they're going to go their own way. You never know what's going to happen. So I said, I'm going to go get the first bind up. So I went to the library and I got the Walking Dead Compendium 1. So this is the first 48 issues of the comic book altogether. Yeah, it's huge, you guys. It's so big. I, I think it's over a thousand pages. It is a comic book, so it goes very, very quickly. There's even some pages, you know, that don't even have any words on them. They're just big pictures. Um, but I got about this far into it. There's no page number, so I don't know exactly how far. But I did read the first two chapters of it, is what it says. So I'm on chapter three right now. About to start chapter three. Um, and yeah, it's really good. I'm definitely noticing differences from the TV show from what I'm remembering. I believe I've already read up to the third, the beginning of the third season of the show, kind of where the storyline is following. But this is getting me back into the world of Whit Grimes and I'm really happy about it. It's kind of helping feed that need for me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely enjoying these comic books. I'm enjoying the differences and kind of seeing how things are playing out. And uh, it's going to take me a while to get through it. But I did read this all on Monday. So um, even though it's long, they are comics. So they are going pretty quick. But yeah, so I worked on this too. Okay, guys, that's it for me. And that is what I read for the TBR Takedown 3.5 Readathon. So thank you, Shannon, for hosting it. And it was a lot of fun. If you guys want to check out the TBR Takedown Readathon, so there is a Twitter page for it. So I would recommend if you're interested in ever joining into one, just go ahead and follow the Twitter page now. And then you can see all the announcements and all that fun stuff. So I'll leave that link in the description below. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.